welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and thank you for joining today as you see it is wash day but the difference is today we're not doing a wash and go not doing a twist out not doing a braid out not using curl former so what we doing we is doing a bun a slicked back i'm trying to figure out if i want to slick it to the back or slick it you know up i'm probably going to do it to the back because i haven't done the back before so we're going to do a bun on tapered hair because y'all know it's real short it's growing i ain't cut it off in like a month and a half so it's growing but yes i'm going to do a slicked back bun Minds me, I need a comb because I got to make a part. And a brush. I'm forgetting the main essentials of getting a bun. So, you know, I ain't going to waste y'all time. Let's get started. Oh, we are going to be using the Elastica QP new line that I got for my October curl box. I'm going to be using the Olive Oil and Mango Butter Anti-Breakage Leave-In Conditioner. It says, moisturizing butter of mango and olive oil adds strength, moisture, and shine to even the most brittle damaged hair. Perfect for natural, braided, and straight styles to soften, silk, and moisturize and leave in texture feeling like silk. Then we're going to use the Feels Like Silk Liquid Styling Gel. This is big as fuck. Oh, sorry, y'all. Let me keep clean. This is really big. <laughs> It says, liquid styling gel is perfect for natural, texturized, and soft molded styles used to create wave styles, short crops. What is a short crop? I don't know. And control fizz. Adults and children can use daily without buildup. Which we need. Which we. It smells good. It has like a light scent. And then I'm also going to use the olive oil and mango butter glaze conditioning shining gel. If, it's, if you've used less jam, that's what it's like. Yeah, it's thick, thick. I got to use two, y'all, because I got that. It's like my hair ain't 4C, but when I'm trying to slick it down, it's 4C. It's like, um, excuse me, what are you trying to do? Because folks be telling me all the time, oh, girl, lay your edges. And I'm like, for what? <laughs> it's not going to stay. So we've already deep conditioned and washed. Boom. The only thing different I'm gonna do that's not in that brand, I'm gonna use the main choice. All right, y'all, let's get started. My hair just dried out a little bit, so. I don't want it to be soaking wet like a wash and go. I just need like a little moisture. Okay, now we're going in with the leave-in. I haven't used this yet, so this is my first time using the items out of my October curl box. A little, a little ring. okay. All right, now we're gonna get it parted. I think this is the side I usually wear my bang on. I ain't had a bang in so long. I don't know. Grab a hair tie. I'm finna do a slick back bun with no hair tie. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm gonna go in first with the feels like silk liquid styling gel. This is what it looks like. It's thick, but it also has like a has like a little see little stickiness.
just to give it, you know, a little extra hold. I do have to sometimes like section my hair and then put gel, you know, to get it to slick the way I want it. This little gel might make for a nice washing go. Okay, now I'm going with the, oh, they glaze thick. Go in. Oh yeah, this was gonna really lay it down right here. Oh yeah, let me section. They're going to be slicker than a mug. That glaze ain't playing no game. It's like, you want your hair slicked? Okay. Give me one second. I'm gonna use this whole thing I'm trying to do this little one little little slick bag because I'm probably using more than I need but I'm also gonna work out the rest of the week so I want it to last Hair getting a little dry. Ow. I didn't put my hand in the leave in. And I was trying to get the glaze. Oh, it's on my wrist. I thought I had lost the hair tie. Why do I keep sticking my hand in the leave-in? swoop on my face because you know I got a little big forehead got a 
cover some of that forehead up. Okay, just put a little bit more glaze. It do have your hair shiny. Y'all see that shine? Okay. It wasn't playing. Then I'm gonna go back in with the liquid styling and put that on top. Make my little pony. All right, y'all, I'm going to tie it down, and then I'll be back. So, everyone, this is what it looks like finished. I had on me some little natural hair clip-ins to make me look like I got a little bun because it was, like, this big. But, um, okay, so the hold is not as hard as I thought it was gonna turn out. Like you can see, I got little pieces of hair sticking out. I mean, I've been, this has been all day and I, I work like on a computer all day, so I'm sitting down. So this has been all day and this is what it looks like. I don't think that it's bad, but I mean, I expected more holds. So, but I'm only wearing it for like two days. So, I mean, it'll do, it'll do just today and tomorrow. But this is how you do a bun to the back. It's not super slick, so semi-slick bun to the back on a tapered haircut. And I think we, you know, we achieved it. You know, I did what I was going to do. I will use something a little stronger, you know, probably the uh, main choice proceed with caution because it's kind of made, like, for slick backs and stuff like that. But that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will catch y'all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. See y'all next time. Peace.